After the untimely death of her longtime coster Frank Fritz, American Pickers star Danielle Colby focused on her profession. She performed at her burlesque show a few days after Fritz's passing, which highlighted her dedication to her career. On Friday, October 4, Danielle, who is 48 years old, entertained her audience at the Skylark in Rock Island, Illinois, with her Strip O Rama burlesque show. At various points throughout the evening, Danielle, who performs under the stage name Danny Diesel, served as the show's presenter and introduced her other dancers. There are images and videos that are exclusive to the United States Sun that were taken throughout the night of allure and seductive charm. The American Pickers star began the celebrations with a performance, during which she danced in a sexy manner to the song Hits from the Bomb by Cypress Hill while using two enormous feathers as props. Lighting a joint was the first thing that Danielle did to begin the performance. Not only did she suggestively wave green feathers that appeared to be reminiscent of marijuana leaves, but the music continued to have a stoner motif throughout the performance. Danielle wore a green bejeweled corset and a matching headpiece for the performance, which allowed her to flaunt her stunning body. The ruffled see-through robe that she wore was the finishing touch to the provocative appearance. Around the time that the performance was coming to a close, Danielle began to gradually remove her clothing until she was only wearing marijuana leaf pasties and a thong that matched. During the performance, which lasted approximately six minutes, Danielle showcased her seductive skills by thrusting, twerking, and other dance moves. The audience cheer enthusiastically during the entire dance. Once Danielle had completed her performance, she proceeded to introduce the remaining dancers, each of whom delivered seductive performances of their own, each with a unique theme. During the course of the event, Danielle prompted the audience to take part in a game at approximately one point. Guests were instructed to shatter their dollar bills and throw them at her, with the intention of targeting them directly at her naked butt. Bring me some money. Danielle cried as she knelt down and invited the audience to smack her butt with the bills. Bring me some money. It's a really large target. Hey, you've got this. Come on. She chuckled as she continued. Right on the rim. You got me. She went on to say, this is what it feels like to run the world right there. She then proceeded to give the crowd the opportunity to target her breasts by jumping up and down while the audience members attempted to strike her assets with their money. This occurred later on in the presentation. You are able to go quite near. She stated that we do not bite until we are in the mood to do so. Following her final performance, Danielle expressed her gratitude to her audience for their support. This evening, I can sense the love that is present in there. In my bones, I am aware of it to the very depths of my being. Your audience is quite remarkable, we adore you, and we are grateful that you are here with us today. Due to the fact that Danielle's daughter Memphis was the one who collected tickets at the door, the event was a family affair. There were also members of Danielle's family and friends present at the event. In addition to providing a Venmo account for tips, dollars were made available at the entrance for members of the audience who had larger bills. There were approximately 40 people in the audience that were present for the presentation. On account of the fact that supporters were permitted to freely film the seductive action on their mobile devices, the mood was laid back. Her website provides information about upcoming workshops and performances that she will be giving. Loss of Sad Nias. Her longtime co-star Frank had passed away, and the show served as a much-needed respite from the sorrow she felt. On September 30, Frank passed away at the age of 60, two years after he had suffered a stroke that rendered him crippled. Frank, I will miss your ability to make everyone laugh, your love for talking tattoos, and your epic collections, but what I will miss the most are those little glimpses of vulnerability from time to time, Danielle said in a piece that she published the day after Frank's passing. Frank, you had a deep affection for your mother and your cat, and it was because of these things that we became close. Not only for all of these reasons, 
but also for a great many others, you will be missed. Street Dog, may you rest in peace. Between the years 2010 and 2020, in July of 2022, Frank was at home in Yawa when he suffered a stroke that caused him to spend time in and out of the hospital and undergo rehabilitation over the course of several years. After suffering a stroke, Frank was unable to move while using a wheelchair. According to a friend who spoke to the United States Sun, he is able to walk but he will always require the wheelchair because he is unable to walk for extended periods of time. You basically lose motion, she said. His mobility was lost. Stroke can affect either the left or the right side of the body. In this case, it afflicted the right side. According to the United States Sun, a conservatorship petition was submitted for Frank in August of 2022, which was just a few weeks after the stroke. The documents that were obtained by the United States Sun stated that Mr. Fritz's decision-making capacity is so impaired as a result of his stroke that he is unable to care for his own safety or to provide for necessities such as food, shelter, clothing, or medical care, without which physical injury or illness may occur. According to the statement, Mr. Fritz's decision-making capacity is so impaired that he is unable to make, communicate, or carry out important decisions concerning his own financial affairs. During the time that Mr. Fritz is still recuperating and receiving treatment for his injuries, decisions need to be made regarding his care and placement. For the purpose of preventing immediate harm to him, it was determined that the appointment of a guardian and conservator was necessary. At the debut of the new season of American Pickers, which took place on October 9, Mike, 60, Robbie Wolf, John Jersey John, Chalet, and Danielle were some of the cast members. Jerry Gendro, a close friend of Frank's, disclosed for the first time in an exclusive interview with the United States Sun that he would have returned to the show if it weren't for the health problems he was experiencing. Michael was the one who conceived up the idea for the show. Jerry remarked that Mike was astute enough to realize that the show would be a success with Frank performing. My comparison of Mike and Frank to Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin was based on the similarities between the two. It is possible that Jerry Lewis, Frank, was far more vital for the show than he was first thought to be. Being the Jerry Lewis all the time is a really difficult task to accomplish. If Frank hadn't been dealing with his health problems, I believe he would have returned, and he did have a number of significant health problems. Between the ages of 25 and 30, he began to experience symptoms of Crohn's disease. This bowel condition, known as Crohn's disease, is characterized by inflammation in the digestive tract. An explanation was given by Jerry regarding how Frank's spontaneity contributed to his popularity among viewers on the show. He was truly the comedian who popped out with some of the weirdest and dumbest things that you just go, wow, Jerry added. He was a true comedian. He left his imprint on the annals of history.